Guys, it's Chicks here bringing you another Boomage video. In today's video, guys, I thought it would be helpful to go over um, the kind of uh, the most dominant meta that's uh, taking place in Warships right now, and that is called uh, the Heavy Drinker. So heavies with uh, bullet and energy drink. Now, we've, we've all been saying the whole time that um, <clears throat> the, uh, your main focus should be to go and unlock Bombardiers as quickly as possible, and that hasn't changed. But... At three engine rooms, I honestly think, in the chicken's opinion, that uh, all heavies is better. I'm beating bombardiers somewhat consistently. Um, and there's essentially two different main ways that you're going to use heavies and energy drink. And we're going to cover both of those right now. But first, but first, we got to, uh, to rank 17 earlier. Uh, we don't have the, uh, <clears throat> the chest because we slid back and forth. But... Um, we're doing pretty well. We're doing pretty well. So the biggest thing in the tech tree, uh, so I unlocked and maxed out both the shock launchers. Now, I could have spent those keys uh, getting to the bombardiers, but I opted for shock launchers. And this is why, because most people are using heavies and three engines versus bombers is, uh, you know, you can take them down faster uh, with heavies. When you get to four engines, five engines, yes, it's going to be nothing but bombardiers. So, I mean, prepare yourselves for it because it's going to be a lot of bombers uh, for the rest of the season. But for right now, there's essentially two different ways um, that we can use heavies. And it all depends on if the uh, if the base you're attacking has shock launcher. So, if, your base, if the base you're attacking has shock launcher, here's how you want to do it. Now, the drop is going to be the same. The drop's going to be the same. So, you see, I drop bullet and I also drop four heavies. So, the whole idea behind this is if there's a shock launcher or if there's two shock we'll, we'll say um we'll say there's two shock launchers because there's two shock launchers in this space so the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to flare this uh this squad right here with bullet and the heavies onto the shock launcher i'm not going to drop the four bolts of the other heavies until the shock launcher is cleared and then i flare onto the engine room at that point i'm going to drop these four heavies they're going to take this down fairly quickly by about the time the heavies are around these machine guns uh just from landing them and then i'm going to immediately flare as soon as this engine is down i can't tap on it for some reason as soon as this engine is down i'm going to flare onto this engine uh immediately sorry sorry that's wrong that's wrong there's a shock launcher here so i'm going to flare onto the second shock launcher immediately once that's down it only takes a few seconds then you go straight for this engine up at the top and the cool thing is about this we can let this play while we go um the cool thing is about this is at the same time that um the uh, second engine is going down your first squad here a bullet in the heavies are essentially on top of the third engine room so your last flare is really just redirecting the heavies and bullet to shoot sideways on top of that last engine now it doesn't always work perfectly like that but they're still in like roughly in the same vicinity so you see what i mean right here like they it, it took us a little bit too long to take that down but um rather than having to wait for all these guys to come down here to the very bottom corner we're able to just simply turn these heavies and bullet and take out that engine room now sure you're gonna lose more troops doing it this way but keep it in, keep in mind uh bullet is strong enough especially if you upgrade him a couple times to take down an engine room by himself easily without energy drink it, you know, you want more heavies there for uh, time efficiency because it's all a base race. But that's essentially the entire idea. Now, let's find another attack um, that doesn't have shock launchers. Uh, okay, Th this is good. So this is one shock launcher. So we'll show you the difference here. The difference is essentially just one flare. I mean, if he has shock launchers, the only difference is if he has shock launchers, you're flaring to the shock launchers before you flare to the engine rooms. You're flaring in the same order, the same path. It's very easy. It's very simple. You just have to know that that's what you need to do. If you don't know that that's what you need to do and you're doing a bunch of other stuff, then you're going to have a rough time. Um... And yeah, of course, you have to, you should shock the shock launcher at least once, depending on the GB that you have. You don't want to sacrifice flares for uh, shock launchers because that's going to take um, that's going to take up too much of your time. So you see right here, I have to flare this one twice, which is fine. But I flare straight to that top left engine because there's no secondary so shock launcher. It's just that first one that we had to take down. And this one actually works out really well because you see right here, as soon as I take out that top engine on the left side, all my other troops are right on top of this engine. So we got a really good time on this. I think it was like, you can do it this way and get like 315, um, not consistently, but, um, you know, 
if you do it like and, and if the base is right and you do it perfectly there's no reason why you can't get above uh 310 second finish so um do 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 we'll show you another one here um so this guy has okay perfect so this guy has no shock launcher so this is the difference so we're still going bullet uh, and uh and four heavies on the right side and the difference is when uh, on deployment time I was a little bit slow on that. You shouldn't let them start shooting at something. Like, as soon as they get... Basically, uh, these two... These three heavies right here, as soon as they get essentially that close to the flag, uh, that's when you want to be flaring them. Because at that point, that's kind of when, like, they disregard the flag. And they just start going for the closest uh, building. As you can see, these guys, they're already starting to turn. So... But I mean, you know, we're talking a couple seconds, but you know, that makes the difference most of the time. So we flare them that way. I was a little bit late on uh, on these guys. Um, so we flare them that way up to the engine room. They take that down. We immediately flare up to the top left engine. And then these guys start coming back down and around. Now, I, I do have smokes unlocked uh, at this point. You don't need them. I mean, they kind of help. They'll save you one or two heavies, which might save you, like, I don't know. Like, we're talking even less seconds when we're talking about, uh, you know, smoking your heavies past boom cannons or shocking boom cannons with extra GB. Is it going to make a big difference? I honestly don't think it will, but, you know, if you can, you might as well. So, uh, but you see this again, guys, the, the top left engine goes down. My secondary kill squad is already on top of this engine. We, we're simply just directing them and focusing all of their damage onto that last engine. And we got a really good time on that one and obviously came away with the victory. So that's essentially how you want to do uh, the heavy drinker uh, strategy. I, I love the name of it, the heavy drinker. It's, it's, uh, it's good and it works really well and the biggest difference to defending it is by simply adding the shock launchers now um as soon as i go into a battle if i'm going up against someone that doesn't have shock launchers i know it's an automatic win unless i like unless i like drastically screw something up so um that's why i went ahead and unlocked the shock launchers instead of going straight for the bombers yes you need the bombers later on but um like this base okay <clears throat> we got to back up what we're talking about here so this base should be an automatic win for the chicken guys so we'll go bullet one two three four and i'm gonna wait until they get close to that flag and then i'm going to flare them right now a little bit late on that flare that's okay one two three four up on the left hand side and um you do want to use your energy drink your energy drink on bullet right about here and it's okay if half your heavies don't flare because remember uh your flare time is going to expire um Oh, my iPad glitch. That's okay. I'm going to go ahead and smoke these guys. Just because there's a lot of stuff shooting at them. Again, you don't have to. Uh, typically, you do have to flare twice on this one, depending on your flare level. You don't want maxed out flares just yet. It's not really worth it. And then you see these guys are going to come back down around this corner here. And it looks like we're going to make pretty good time on this one, guys. So we're going to flare right here right now. We're going to hit that energy drink. Uh, I'm going to shock some stuff just because we have the extra GBE for it. So we might as well. And boom. Three minutes, 12 seconds. And I still screwed some stuff up. That was not a perfect attack by any means. But just knowing that that's exactly how we have to pick apart the base... Uh, with bullet and energy drink and it's gonna be a little bit faster than with bombers uh, We're gonna win that 100% of the time uh, Especially if we have shock launchers and the other guy doesn't so again getting out to a good start Knowing the optimal tech path um, This guy's retreating right here. Well, I feel I you know feel a little bit bad, but uh, You know uh, That's just how it goes guys. That's just how it goes. So it makes a huge difference. You know, if you go up with someone against shock launchers and you don't have shock launchers, it's unfortunate, but it, like with the matchmaking, you're probably just going to lose. So, I mean, that's essentially, you know, that's essentially the difference is if they have shock launchers, you go for the shocks. If they don't, you go for the engine rooms. It's that same style of attack. The only difference is when you're not using this is when they have um, two engines here. So they have an engine here and they have an engine this way. If they do it that way, you're just sending bullet up the right side. You're sending bullet up the right side, regardless if they have a shock launchers or not. If he was doing that in this base, I would go bullet right at the shock launchers. Then I would move him up to the top engine room, and then I would throw all eight of my heavies down here. So this is going to be a little trickier because he has a shock. One, two, three, four. It's not going to be trickier. It's just going to take a little bit longer. Um, so I'm going to shock right nice and early. Then we're going to go up this way. I'm going to start to throw out. Uh, actually, I'm going to wait a second there. Okay, so we're, we should take down that shock launcher fairly quickly, and let's go up like this now. And that now I'm going to throw these heavies out on the on the left side. So we're going to take down this engine room very quickly, and I want to get it down quickly so I can just go for the shock launcher so the heavies don't get caught going for the shock launcher and get stuck 
Um, so I'm going to smoke here. I'm going to smoke here. And as soon as they pop out, then we're going to shock all this junk. I will need a second flare. A little bit uh, delayed on that, but that's okay. Um, okay, so the shock goes down. Let's go up this way. And let's actually throw a smoke down for these guys. They should be able to make it there. Woo! That guy took us down very, very quickly. Oof. Yeah, I think this guy just had much higher tech level than us, so... Yeah, it's not uh, it's not 100, 100%, but uh, we'll take this down, and then we'll go with bullet. And bullet should be able... Since there's no shock launchers, bullet should have no issues taking down uh, this engine almost by himself, I'm thinking. Uh, it's going to be close, because there's two boom cans and a flamethrower on him, and he doesn't do well against splash damage, so... Yeah, man. That's honestly one of the first times that that's happened to me all day, but uh, of course it's during the video, but... Regardless... Um, there's nothing else we really could have done. We'll, we'll take a look and see how Mr. Nate Dog was able to take down our base. Um, okay, so he's using the bomber. So, I mean, yeah, the bombers against the shock launchers, that's also a good route to go because you can see right here, he's, he's doing nothing. He's doing nothing. He's shocking the shock launchers and he's letting them just run out and they just take down everything, right? So, I mean, it's uh it's tough heavies versus two shock launchers versus bombers uh, versus shock launchers you're probably gonna lean towards the bombers but i hope that helps you out guys that's uh was able to get the chicken up to rank 17 pretty easily um with just unlocking the shock launchers next step is of course gonna be unlocking the bombers and then it's gonna be um hopefully we're gonna be able to push through that wall but just with the bombers themselves but uh, i'm really enjoying uh the start of the season because every upgrade that we make every correct tech path tech path that we choose seems to be rewarding seems to be you know you push up to that next level that next rank that next rank that's what was missing from the last season that was the biggest uh flaw in my opinion so guys as always thank you so much for watching uh if that helped you out make sure to leave a like in the video if you're new to the channel make sure to subscribe for more worships content and uh yeah guys as always thank you so much for watching that's gonna wrap up the video today make sure to leave a like if you found it interesting entertaining or informative or if you like the sign behind us and uh chicken is out back back back